Hey, what up, fellas? 5.30 a.m. right now. Patch up our waders real quick. Got these little Gore-Tex patches. Uh, they seem to stop the water a little bit for a couple trips and then they start sort of peel off So we are definitely gonna be doing a little bit of waiting I'm really really trying to figure out the inshore fishing last couple trips last several trips have not been too killer So I'm trying to figure it out just by grinding a little bit. It's only 530 right now, but That means we have to leave right now if we want to get out there before just before the sun rises. So let's go about what happened at this door take a look at this so before yesterday's fishing trip we did get the truck stuck deep in some mud man I went to one of the launches that I've been to 20 times had no issues but man we've had some super high tides they have dropped off now but just because they were so high it brought some water into some areas that is usually not in it looked like there was a little puddle and I went through it and it dropped down about a foot and then I proceeded to dig myself in trying to get out luckily it was so lucky man about and many after I got stuck a, a truck showed up and he helped me get out of there oh, yeah. Easy peasy <laughs> All right, check this out. I don't know if you guys can see this pretty it's kind of far away But there's a group of blue herons on this kind of submerged little sandbar right there And they're they're waiting for fish to swim right by those blue herons when there's multiple in the same spot on a little shoreline like that they know what they're doing so that's gonna be our second spot if our first spot is not good oh my gosh lots of bait in here interesting boys interesting wow dude there's a ton of bait right here what in the world i'm gonna make a couple casts right here just because i'm seeing all this boat we are, we're gonna be fishing like right right here actually this is like one of those weird spots it's just like obviously with the bridge and everything with some very strong structure that could hold one or two big fish dude i see bait on my spot too i don't know boys you might catch something here eventually rank her down got our lures we're ready for a little wade with the top water i hope i don't think i have my big top water i do actually might have to switch to that we do have probably gonna have about 12 mile per hour wind Oh, there's a good one. That's a good fish. Maybe. Nah, it's not. <laughs> I thought it was gonna. Be, it might be a half decent fish, but I thought it was gonna be a big one at first, man. A lot of times those 20, 23 inches, they'll smack it and they just take off. It's not a bad one. Keepster. Keepster. Oh Jesus, my waders. <laughs> Got them on the side. Wow, look, it's, just, it's not a big guy, but he's got big fish jeans. He's got a tall body. Usually they'll be super skinny here. It looks like he's been eating for sure. He's a wide body, even though he's still a youngster. Fat little fish, I'll take it. First bite though, thought he was gonna be a decent one. We'll let him go, and we're gonna run it back in the same area. Got two bites in the same area. We're coming, so what I'm fishing right here, it's a little, it's like a little, I don't even know what to call it, a long hump, like like a sandbar, but it's about two feet deep. On either side, we got some, some deeper grass flats. Well, first wade, just one fish. We can do better than that. There's a fish, oh my God. <laughs> well, we're getting close to the shoreline and that's when we catch our fish. Again, eh, not a very good one. A little bit thicker guy as well, though. Whoa! There's a fish. It feels weird staying down. A little trout. No wonder. I think we freaking snagged him. What is going on, man, with these catches? Look at this, though. They're all this taller body trout. Isn't that weird? I wish I could have shown you guys that, but every single one, all three, not that it's a lot, but three out of three trout have been these tall body trout. And those are the ones that seem to get big. The big ones look like that. And they also fight a lot better. 
Well, we didn't, we didn't slap them on the wade. But now we try spot number two, the heron spot. That's a freaking fish. No freaking way, dude. Oh my God, dude. I've just been meditating, man. Just making cast after cast. Not getting a bite in a long time. This whole drift. Now we got a nice red on. Golly. He's pulling too, dude. He's turning the whole freaking boat around. You know what? This is actually a trout, boys. It's actually a trout. You believe that? Please. Please don't go under my motor. Thank you. Oh, this is a freaking trout. It's a big trout. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Definitely a redfish. But man, I'll freaking take him. I'm not gonna let this guy go either. I'm not gonna let this guy go. Why well, I am gonna let him go. But we're definitely gonna catch him. What I mean by that, we're definitely using the kayak net. Man, not as big as I thought. But I'm really happy with him. Really happy to get a bite finally. Whoosh, right there. The net is at the ready. It's been a, been a while since I used a net. I've got this guy on the egret wedger, man. I've been grinding the top water and the popping court. There he is, let's go. But I did not get any bites on him. This guy is not the longest guy of all time, but he's pretty fat. You know what, we can even weigh him. Dang, dude, he's not that big, but he is super powerful. That's a redfish for you. Dang, five pounder, five pounder on the dot. How about a freaking redfish? After all, the dinker trout, a nice little redfish. Not a giant as we would have hoped, but man, he was powerful, super fun to catch. There he goes, nice, dude. Got this guy in the eager wedger on our very last weedless jig head. This is a super light one. I, this has to be like 1 16th, 1 1 8th maybe. Ten fish. There's a guy. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh. Oh, speckled trout. Shoot, that might be the biggest one of the day. Well, fellas, it's about 12 o'clock noon right now. Man, I've been kind of struggling to put some killer days together. I mean, it wasn't terrible today. Not bare bones bad, but we didn't catch too much man not too much what's up big one all right man last intro trip not not too killer man I, with all that bait dude i thought there was going to be a ton of fish in that one area but it only ended up having a couple dinkers in it right now though i got the freaking plan man dinkers a lot of the time you catch them on grass that's a little bit deeper but right now we're going to do the opposite we're going in skinny water we're going to go for some skinny water potholes i've got a couple spots in mind and hopefully we can get into some better fish trust me we're going to get them boys for sure, for sure this time, okay, for sure. What's going on, fellas? Dang, water's clear right here. Wow, that's a nice trout. That's a nice freaking trout, dude. Come on. It's a nice freaking trout, dude. Please be a trout. It is. I'm not gonna say it's a monster, but it's a freaking nice one. No, it's not as big as I thought. It's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice guy, I cannot complain. Is he? <laughs> no, I thought he was gonna be way bigger. That's a decent one though. God, I thought it was gonna be like a 25, 26. It's like a... It's like a 20. <laughs> he might throw it still. No shot. I'm too good of an angler to let him throw it. He's fighting really good. He's like a redfish taking me in circles. <laughs> yeah, not that great. Man, thought he was gonna be a big guy. Not bad though. 
2021. Not a bad little guy. Yeah, that's a decent, that's a decent freaking trout. I'll take him for sure. Check that out on the mirror dean too. Look at the dean. The dean got him. I was throwing the fire tiger color. I switched to the black and orange bottom. I've caught a ton of fish on this one. It looks a little bit, a little bit more natural. Still has that orange, which is kind of weird, but it got this guy for sure. Man, this, this bigger guy. I mean, we've been catching some dinks. This bigger guy was way up pretty shallow, maybe like two foot deep potholes. And that's where you expect to catch some bigger ones. Oh, that's a freaking bite. He's running towards us like a red, but I think, no, it is red, T tiny. LG, 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 LG. Oh, that's gotta be a redfish, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Wait, imagine. Look kind of silver. Nah, definitely red. That's cool though. I'll take a freaking redfish. Golly. Whoa. This might be bigger than the last one. Oh shoot, bud. He's going crazy mode. Threw on soft plastic finally, man. I've been getting so many bites with with the top water. Just just barely not hooking up to him. We do have like really weird conditions for this time of year. We got like a northeast wind. A little cold front hit. This is this might be oversized. Oh, she hit my foot. Come on, bud. <laughs> That's a nice one for sure. One decent trout. I think I lost a few more decent ones. And then two nice reds. Yeah. That's probably oversized. Right about right around the range, right? Throwing the down south lures supermodel. And with with the weedless hook, man, I'm addicted to I'm really loving throwing these weedless hooks, especially in an area like this. Wow, that's a nice one. Hell yeah, dude, I'm loving this spot. I'm loving it. I'm loving what I'm seeing, man. See a big fella. He hit my foot again on the way out. Oh, we got a freaking run, man. We're so far from the boat. You probably can't even see it. It's way out there, and I don't want to be running in, in the night, man. I don't have my 360 light. I just broke it recently. I do have spotlight, and I have the uh, navigation lights. Go! 